Guys and girls, what is going on? Welcome back to another video, guys, of Wildlife World. Today, you guys voted for me to build the zebra exhibit, and that is what we will be doing today. So, without further ado, guys, let's get straight on to it. Now, it's pretty simple. It's going to be quite. It's going to be quite a simple build. Now, the reason for this is I'm kind of struggling for time to record this video, but that will not affect the actual content. So I think we're going to build it about here. I think that's where I've decided to build, you know, a couple exhibits. And really from here we're just going to, you know, build on, make everything much better. And it should work out quite nicely. Now I just need to tear out these two trees for the time being. Just quickly, very, very quickly. There we go. And do we have a shovel? Now actually, quickly, just before we start, I've started digging into the mountain and making arrangements. But this is what I've come up with so far. This is how I want it to look. I want it to all be taken out. It just to be plain, you know, water coming down, and I'll probably put fences around it, something like that. But I'm not too sure yet, guys. Let me know your opinions down in the comment section below, and that would be absolutely awesome. Now then, we need a shovel. Do we have anything to make a shovel with? No, but we have a pickaxe and an iron one, so we can dig into here and make a stern shovel. And then quickly head up to the crafting table. Now, pretty much, uh, it's going to be quite simple. It's going to be just make the exhibit, put the zebras in. Now, that is you. That's literally going to be it for every time you know we build something along these lines, because quite simply, that is what is the, that is the episode, and we, I don't really want to overcomplicate it. Do I even have a crafting table? I don't think I even have a crafting table. Wait, I think I have one up in here though, on the top floor. I need to find a more productive way to get up to the top. Well, I'm just waddling up. I don't even have one up here, for God's sake. Right, we'll make one up here. Alright, crafting table, we'll stick that there. And bang, bang. Stone shovel, there we go. So, what else do we need? We have everything we need. I've got some birch wood planks, guys off camera for this build because I'm not entirely sure if I want it what what I really want it to be like whether I want it to be you know quite open and bright or whether I want it to be quite secluded so it's pretty much just gonna be me trialing an error a um, form of build so I'll just make our way down here and back up you can waddle over here quickly take out these little bits here because it was this bit here and this bit just to the left that was the interruption and apart from that I can get started on building now ideally guys these first two exhibits won't really have a set place for them now I do want to make like a whole map on a piece of paper for me that I can you know list I can show everywhere and like understand where it, what everything's gonna go now I'll probably also make a map on this world hopefully and it should um, be quite good and effective just so I understand you know where everything's gonna go in the builds so we just quickly fill in everything here so I want it to be rather long and it, look as long as I have about 12 left it's just gonna go away Go away. Go away. Die. Right, I'm loving this. There we go. Don't mess me about. Not today. So then let's just quickly place these. And obviously it's not going to be enough. But it's enough for what I want to do. Now, I should put the crafting table down with me. But that is not a problem. There we go, I'll put that there. So what we'll do is we'll place the crafting table down here and what I'm going to do is make some... Um, how do I want to do it? I think I want to, I actually think I want to go something like this. Something like this for the exhibit. Now this is obviously the outer layer. I don't want it massive, I want it just to be big enough for the time being because eventually we're going to move them, um, probably in a construction episode. 
we need to move we'll move them into a new exhibit that I'll build when I've got all the mapping sorted out of where I want everything to go. But just for the time being, we're gonna work with this. Now how big is that? That's quite big actually. I may have ever done it. Go away. I hate pigs. I absolutely hate them on this game. But yeah, so what we're gonna do is very, very quickly cut across this bit. And just we just there's no real specific shape to it. I don't believe. I don't believe I need any shape to it at this stage. I believe that levels things up. No, it doesn't. Damn it. We'll have to uh, bring the one over there one back, back a little bit. There we go. And then we'll come take the iron axe and take it off. So there we go. That's nice. That's quite. That's actually a reasonably sized exhibit. I think that's worked out quite nicely for me. Now I just need to find a little spot here for where I'll put the fence in. And then I want to initially get a few fences on the go, like so. Eight of might do, and then just stick it, prop them up in random places. Yeah, a bit like this. Now the reason for this is we're going to put something on top to make it seem as though it's a bit enclosed and then you'll have the view when people look around like this and you'll be able to see it. Obviously I'll put some uh, wood around here so we can actually stand up on it and see. But that is the initial plan. Oops. So what we're going to put on top, we need a few more don't we? Yeah we need a few more. That'll do. I think, I think that should be, okay, there we go, yeah that'll be fine, yeah 12's plenty, yeah it's plenty to fill around, I'll have some spares, two, one, two, 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 it's honestly, it's just about being spontaneous and random with the placings, to make them evenly spread out to a certain extent even like that could have done with one more there actually so I think that's what I'm gonna do very quickly there we go so I'll put one there and then I'll come back and I'll place one just here now that's quite nice because that blocks it off and it makes it because obviously um, the hit block for the zebra, is, zebra or zebra, whatever you want to call it. Oh, by the way, guys, those that put things that you did end up suggesting it was just a zebra, not a zebra, so I will just call it a zebra um, for the time being. Obviously, if you don't agree with that, I apologize, but that's the way I want to do it. So, what I'm going to do actually is, have I got my chisel with me? I do, that's good. Just quickly chuck that in. What can I use for the roofing? None of them really. I could go into slabs and try that. Let's just try this a minute. Now this isn't going to be my best idea, but not there. Christ now. So what we'll do is we'll say we'll put like a block on top and we'll go like that all the way around. So it's like you look up and you come in and you'd see it. Actually, that might not be too bad. This means I'm going to have to put one's blocks in here, but that is completely fine. I'm quite happy to do that. Nice like that. Actually, it'll make the exhibit look a lot nicer. There we go. And then we'll just come around here to finish these off here. And then we should be all good to go. Yeah, we are. So, pretty much, again, bang, 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 bang. It's going to be quite nice, actually, I think. I generally think it will work out rather nicely. Like this. Now, it should work out okay. Now, if you guys do obviously disagree, be free, uh, be absolutely free to let me know why you don't think it's going to work out. We're not going to have enough, actually. I may have to go away and get some. 
but that won't be an issue. Yeah, we'll have to. Definitely. But yeah, I think that should work out quite nicely. And then we can stick it there, there. Just so it actually looks as though it's a little exhibit thing. So like, oh wait, look. Here we go. We'll look in. Oh, what's this? Zebras. Now, I think that will be a nice first exhibit to have. I think it will work out really nicely. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back over that way and go and collect a load of birch wood. And I'll come back once I've grabbed it. So I'll see you in just a second. Guys, okay, so I'm back once again. Um, pretty much, I went away and got all of the required equipment. I've placed it all down. It's looking very nice. I'm very happy with it. Now, I'm going to actually, because I kind of need to, 6, 12, 18, 24, 30, 36, 42, 48, 54, we'll go with that for the time being, but yeah, so pretty much we're just going to fill it in on the inside as well, so it actually looks not too dissimilar, it looks relatively same, now I've done this build because I just wanted to actually get the series started, I feel like as though in previous series I've done I've not done that many builds on the actual animal enclosure straight away. Now I believe this build actually is quite nice because it's, I was going more of the safari look, the more African safari look, not like oh we actually have a zoo, this is more like okay, wow, look at this, this is like say if you go to Africa and they have like a little conservation area, this would be the conservation area, oh we even have a door but I don't want a door. Oops, don't leave the egg. And then, we'll just go there. Yeah, it's got to be, hasn't it? And what we'll do is quickly slide in a fence gate here. So yeah, guys, pretty much now, I just need to go and get the golden lasso and catch a few. Now, I've done this exhibit, like I've just started saying, but I got, like, stopped or interrupted. Basically because I was working on pretty much building my barn and everything like that now that's not what I wanted to do I wanted to do something different I wanted to make it better I want to make it you know a bit more accurate now what I've decided to do instead which I don't really know what I'm doing here actually I'm just kind of digging there we go that should work and how's that look that's actually okay it's bearable I'm gonna have to place a bit of thing in but yeah, so basically, I've decided I want to make it a bit more like an African conservation area, purely because it's a lot easier, and it looks a lot more realistic, like something's actually happen. So yeah, it actually worked out quite nicely. Now all I'm going to do here is fill this up, but also add some slabs going over top like that so that they can just walk zebras can still walk over and then bang here they are on this side of the river so do I have another bucket I do that is rather ideal because we can just make I could if I want to make just make a little infinite water source which I probably should do now I think about it yeah I'll probably go do that but yeah pretty much I just wanted to make it seem like African conservation it was just an image I had in my head and I wanted to go with it so that's what I've done. There we go. Infinite water source, ladies and gentlemen. Infinite water sources. Now all I have to do is pretty much stick to what I need to do. And we'll be pretty much all sorted. Now, once I've put all this water in and it is ready to go, what I'll do is I'll go with you and we'll go and get the golden lasso well we've already got the golden lasso I believe in the inventory yeah we do let's actually put that there now but yeah pretty much we'll just go and collect the zebra no real nothing you know big to do apart from to go and genuinely get our first uh, animals in the park so just gotta finish this off and then we'll actually be good to go but let me know guys, with the ostrich exhibit, do you want something similar to this exhibit? Something a bit similar to it, or do you want me to go in a completely different direction? Let me know what you think, that will be absolutely awesome. 
Because that sword itself it has. That's good. So very quickly just... There we go. So now I've got the nice little exhibit. I've got room for the zebras to walk across. Do we want to put a tree in? I think we do. But I only... I want to put it in the middle. Like there. Wait, no. Maybe a bit further away. I'm going to say there. Yeah, that'll be nice there. And we might even stick one just here. I think that'll be nice actually when that happens because then they'll grow and yeah, it'll add something to the exhibit. Well, the enclosure. So yeah, what we're going to do now is quickly go and catch a few zebras. I mean, there's two there. I don't think we need masses. I mean, three at the most will be fine just until we genuinely move um, them into a bigger enclosure. It'll probably be like this, to be fair, but it may also be a lot better. And we also do need names for the zebras, guys. So let me know three names for the zebras. Uh, it doesn't matter. It can be male or female on this, to be honest, on this server. They're whatever you want them to be. <laughs> so, yeah, pretty much male or female. It's up to you. Let me know, guys, in the comment section below. I will pick them personally, or it can be down to the most liked ones. So make sure to like each other's comments, guys. That would be absolutely awesome and really help me out finding out the one that is, you know, most pleasing to you. But yeah, there we go, drop the zebra in there, look, one zebra's already coming to stroll across, and then I need to kind of place dirt, don't I, around here. But no, I'm quite happy with that, that's a nice little exhibit I've come up with. It's quite basic, yet it does fit the bill, and that is what I wanted. I wanted one that's just going to be effective for the time being until we do you know before I actually map out everything I will be mapping everything out this week guys so don't worry um, we'll build the ostrich exhibit still here I've decided but we will in fact well what happened there yeah we will in fact when we build the uh, ostrich exhibit it will still be here and it will still be moved just like the zebra exhibit will be eventually so I want to go and catch one more zebra is there actually one round here I don't think there genuinely is. I mean, two's fine, but I'm just having a look, see if we can find it. Is that a shark or a dolphin? Dolphin, because it's not killed a horse. Um, there's an ostrich over there. That'll be good for future reference. But I genuinely think there isn't another zebra, which is completely fine. So when it comes to moving day, we can chuck it in a paddock and we can drive off. Ostrich around here as well. That's good. And another one here. But no, I think generally we're okay. I'll be just two seconds, guys. I'm back. Sorry about that. But basically, as I was saying, and as I've been trying to say for like the past six or seven minutes of this recording, it, I just want to make it look. I just want to make it look like an African conservation area. Like if there was an ill animal or they were like observing an animal, basing it on its habitat, this is where it'd go. So I'm fairly happy with how it's worked out. Actually, I think it's quite nice. Um, it would have been nice to have three in there, but at the end of the day, I think I could settle for two and then when we are moving things about and things are being moved because a lot of this is actually going to be done on this sand. So I'm still trying to figure out how that's going to go. But basically and overall, I can always get more. I can always get more. We can obviously extend the exhibit and make it like a big, a bigger area at which we can put them in to run around and we can get like six of them. But overall guys, that was a pretty good exhibit and I'm quite happy with it. So guys, make sure to let me know in the comment section below what you think the name should be for the zebras. I will get name tags. Um, I've made an I, I've made a deal that I will get name tags. I will spawn them in um, just for names, name purposes only. No other use for them. I don't think there actually is any. But if there is, there won't be any uses for it. I'll have to go and find them. It'll only be to get names. That will be it. But anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching this video. I apologise for the noises that may have gone on in the background with the dog that was just because we're having the builders over at the minute and everything's being redone so I just had to get this video out today but thank you very much for watching, drop a like on the video if you did enjoy and subscribe for more content guys you are the reason I do YouTube, stay active guys, stay awesome and I'll see you in the next video, goodbye